computer term that we're going to cover is a server. What is a server? Well, a server is a generic term for a computer that's normally quite a high-powered computer that provides services or resources to other computers. And these other computers are referred to as clients, and this is in a network. Now, you get lots of different types of servers, so we're going to cover a couple of the different types now quickly. The most popular one, the most common one, is a file server. So basically, a file server is a server that is has the location or the storage of computer files that can be accessed by other computers on a network. So let's say you've got the server, that's where your files are going to be stored. We can store all our files on the file server and all the computers are connected to the file server. So whenever you want to access those files, you can just simply get them to your computer. And the key way to understand if you are using a file server is if you can use multiple computers in a network and access the same drive, for example, then that drive is predominantly going to be on some sort of file server. The other type of server that you get is called a print server. Now the print server is a server that manages print requests and the printer queue of the printer on a network. In other words, all the print jobs that get sent to the printer queue. So you've got a computer and you've got a document that you really want to print and you would then send it to the print server and that allows you to then continue doing the work on your computer while the print job waits for its turn to be printed. And you can manage all those print jobs and make different jobs move up the queue or down the queue or cancel them even. Another, another type of server is a mail server. Now this server is used to store and deliver mail for your client. So let's say you've got an email that you want to send to someone. It will then be sent to the mail server and it will stay there and wait until the person that it's supposed to be sent to, the recipient that you want to send it to, when they log on and they then access the mail server, it will then be redirected back to them and say, hey, you've got mail and we'll send them their mail. A proxy server is a gateway between a computer and the internet. So all internet traffic will go through this proxy server and it checks whatever goes through in and out and tries to prevent cyber attacks. So any type of website that you go and request for or any website that's coming back into view on your computer will have to go through the proxy server. It's a way of adding some security so you can block certain websites and you can see dangerous websites coming in or information that's coming into your network. Now the other types of servers that you get, you get a game server, which if you want to host multiple player games, sometimes you will get one server to host the game and all the different other players will then join that game server. And then, so that frees up your computer to just manage your part of the game and the server will handle the rest of it. Then you get a database server, which manages the database and storage of data on your database. So especially if you've got large amounts of data and you want everyone to access it, you can put it on a database server. And maybe you've got a website that you want to host online. So you will give it to a company that's got a web server. And that web server is normally on 24-7. If you have it on your own server and that server is not a web server and you switch that server off, then that website now all of a sudden will not be available. So you can host your files on a web server and those are the different types of servers you get there are some others especially in networking but those are the most common ones that you get across but the main idea is that a server provides resources or servers to other computers support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and share us with your friends so we can help them to go to our playlists and see what other topics you can cover and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way